Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So this is not a video. This is just a post. And as you can see, the subject matter it said, I'll get a hundred deletions before I be a single mother. I'm not going to lie. So another person says, or use protection. Do you guys realize too many deletions can make you not be able to have kids ever? And then another chick answers that and said, this is a myth and simply not true. As someone who has had many deletions, did you peep that? I still get pregnant. <laughs> Since a science is too advanced for women to still be believing this, go to a doctor and fetus deletus be free. I told y'all that they was using it as birth control. I've been told y'all that. I've been told y'all that. It's birth control to, to a lot of these chicks that's running around out here. There's no thought to an ounce of prevention equals a pound of cure. There's no thought to that. Just, just prevent the whole thing rather than trying to cover up your, um, your recklessness that you're having with your womb. So you don't want to be a single mother, which is fine. But why is it that you're getting pregnant? To where you got to make the decision to delete the child after you're pregnant with it. So this is where we get no accountability, no responsibility, complete recklessness. The, this la the last post is the, is the real bad one. First of all, it's misinformation. It's a myth. And it's not a myth. Having them people go and perform an unnatural type of procedure for you. A miscarriage is one thing. A deletion is another. Um, to have them people repeatedly go into your body and give you something that will delete the fetus and then having to go in there and remove it and remove the remnants from your womb, that is dangerous. I personally know women who had, who had, um, deletions who could not have children when they wanted children, they could not carry them to term. They would get pregnant, but they would always miscarry the child. And it was because they had, they were deleting children um, repeatedly as they were getting pregnant with them. And so they never had children despite being in a relationship and the man wanting children. And eventually it broke the relationship up because he ended up finding out that she was deleting the kids because she wasn't even telling them that that's what was happening. And then couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like had to eventually drop down and come clean when she was unable to maintain a pregnancy. And so it's absolutely true, right? That that does hinder a woman's ability to become pregnant and maintain and sustain a pregnancy to birth. She'll have so many complications because you've tampered with your womb uh, too many times in a, an unnatural way, right? So then she goes on to say she's had many abortions, many deletions or whatever. You had many? 
Then the, the following segment is even worse. I still get pregnant. So, so you're still running around letting dudes hit it raw and saying, you know what? If I am pregnant, I'll just go delete it. So you're comfortable with using Clan Parenthood as retroactive birth control rather than saying, you know what? First of all, I'm not going to be running around here just having random sex with so many random guys. Secondly, if I am going to be running around here outside, as they say, then at minimum, I'm going to have birth control and all this kind of stuff because... I don't want to go into that procedure to do that. So I, so it's best for me not to even introduce that to myself. Don't even get pregnant at all. That's what science has advanced to, that women don't have to be pregnant. And I don't mean a deletion. I mean, you don't got to get pregnant in, in the first place, right? So she says, I still get pregnant, which is atrocious. Science is too advanced for women to be, be believing this. Go to a doctor and fetus deletus be free. And that be free at the end of it is really the crux of it all. Because they want to be free from not only the responsibility of having to birth and raise a child, but free from the accountability of becoming pregnant outside of marriage and relationship in the first place being free of the stigma of being a single mom, but at the same time hiding how many abort uh, uh, deletions that she has had in her past. And this is why some men become suspicious of women after a certain point that have never been married and you don't have children. They become suspicious about it. Well, how many deletions have you had? They become suspicious about that. Right. And then if you if you are a person such as myself that never had children, but also never had a deletion, you got to like say that. Like make that clear. No, I don't have children, but it, it's not because I was reckless and then just got rid of the evidence. Like so I went to go and get a deletion before. And that's why I still don't have kids. Like, no, I don't, I don't have any birth children and I never got any of them deleted either. So I don't have children just because I don't have any. And if you're a woman like that, you got to say that. Like you have to say out of your mouth, yeah, I don't have children. I also don't have a record, a track record of baby deletions either. So me and Clan Parenthood, we ain't friends either. I just haven't had any children. Maybe because I miscarried them or maybe because I've been responsible with my womb and I don't have children because I wasn't out here thotting and bopping and letting dudes hit it raw so I can be pregnant. Right? But that, but that last one got me. I'm like, are you serious? And they, and they get on the internet and type this stuff and then don't think it's a problem. Like she, she thought that tweet was cool. Like she was cool with the tweet. She put that on the internet with her face next to it. Like you, are you kidding me? Like, this is the type of stuff that they feel is all right and, and should be normalized. This is why they be fighting so hard um, for, quote unquote, uh, reproductive rights, i.e. the right to go and erase my mistakes and erase my bad decisions in a doctor's office. That's why they so caught up on that. And we got to vote, you know what I'm saying, Democrats, so that Klan Parenthood can be our best friend, which goes right along with the fact that Clan Parenthood had a whole station uh, outside of the Democratic National Convention that was going on in Chicago just this past these past few days. They had a whole booth for Clan Parenthood and folks signing up 
for appointments at the DNC rally. <laughs> That's why these women vote like that. This on it has nothing to do with um any real policies or anything like that. They just want the ability to legally go and erase their bad womb decisions and make sure that there's no evidence of the recklessness that they had out in the streets. This isn't about um they're not concerned about deletions under the guise of what they always talk about. Well, what if you graped and what if you that's actually a very small percentage of the women that come in for deletions are coming in for that reason. Most of them are coming in using it as retroactive birth control. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, once again, I'm your hostess, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.